hey guys welcome back to my channel my eyes are already done i use this uh palette right here by la color and i only use two colors out of there just keeping it natural and simple um if you would like to see how i did my bun right here which is so cute then click the link above now hopping straight in i am using the wet n wild dewy luminous um primer i use this primer because well one i love it and two because it's so lightweight and when i do my primer i like to let it uh not necessarily dry but get tacky before i use it just to ensure that my foundation don't move now on to foundations i am using milani in the shade golden toffee and black radiance in the shade brownie mixing these two together i have been doing this combination for so long I love it. It's like my perfect shade. Now I'm going to get ready and spray my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Um, I do this just because, well, I want my foundation to be in place, as I said before, with the primer and with the setting spray. It just gives it a, a double stay time. Now onto concealers, I am in the shade Chestnut. I am only putting the concealer um, underneath my eyes and I'm just distributing the products all over. Um, I just do this just because I like to save on product and also I don't want a lot of um, concealer being wasted. Not wasted, but like I just don't want a whole lot of makeup <laughs> on my face, honestly. Now I am on to powders. I am using JCAT uh, Lux Pro Powder in the shade Porcelain. Um, I love this powder because one, it's really, really lightweight and also it doesn't have any silica in it, which I love. And silica is like the number one reason why you get flashback is because the silica in it doesn't react very well with the flash. Um, right here you see me blending in the powder. Yes, you blend in the powder basically to get make it seamless and to ensure that your concealer is set and it looks really really flawless um, whereas when you don't or you bake it just leaves me a white cast and I don't like the way that looks using precision formula um, bronze booster I'm um, just basically using it in the areas where I would usually contour now I'm going to contour using the shade black coffee and by black radiance I'm sorry um, I'm going really light on this because I used a lot of bronzer I went really heavy on the bronzer well, it actually made me look snatched, so. <laughs> so now I'm going to use uh, Black Radiance in the sh uh, I'm going to be using uh, Black Radiant Soft Focus uh, Finishing Powder in the shade Milk Coffee and this is just to bring back the color in my face to set everywhere. And then I'm going to spray my face again and um, I'm just going to be spraying with the NYX Finny Matte Finishing Spray and then I'm going to be uh, pressing that in using my the bottom of my Beauty Blender. And this is just to ensure that, well, the powder isn't moving. Next, I'm going to blush. I'm going to be using L'Oreal and Milani uh, blush today. Well, I use this combination pretty much all the time. I just love the way my cheeks look, and I look really chiseled. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now on to my favorite part, which is highlighting. I'm using uh, Profusion um, Highlighter Palette. Um, I usually go crazy with the highlighter. But today I was just like, you know what, sis? I'm not going to do too much. We're just doing a basic natural look. Like, let's not uh, do the most. But yeah, I use two different highlighter brushes, as you've seen. Uh, one to apply the... Um, highlighter and then want to blend it out as you see I just switched brushes um, that's just so that way it can look seamless and flawless and she is done she looks gorgeous um, if you would like to see how I did my bun once more then you may click the link above and I thank you guys so so much for watching this tutorial if you have any questions or anything comment down below and see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye.